We're at 1142 Queen West at Do Not Pass Go or Do Not Pass 1142 Queen West before you see this show by Melanie McDonald. New paintings, December 16th to the 22nd in my big book of artists. And Do Not Pass Go makes a lot more sense when you're looking at the paintings, which is something very familiar to all of us of early mornings or late nights or rainy afternoons. And I'm fortunate enough to be here with the curator and organizer, uh, art representative. Um, A.K. Collins. A.K. Collins. And I, I keep thinking of the children's book author, so I won't make that mistake of saying that again, because I'm more of a visual person. And can you tell us a little bit about how the show uh, got organized with this artist? Sure. I have a gallery, or have had a gallery, for several years in Port Hope, which is about an hour east of Toronto. And Melanie McDonald is one of the, my artists. She's not known in Toronto. She was born, raised, and continues to live in St. Catharines. Uh, she paints in acrylic on canvas, high realism, and uh, this entire show is inspired by the game of Monopoly, a kind of uh, vintage Monopoly board that you might have played at your grandparents' cottage. Um, and why? Why is she painting? I, I know toys is a great subject for a lot of painters. Um, you know, and plays with scale and, and uh, meaning and, and the psychological impact of it, but why Monopoly? Well, this particular series actually was inspired by episode 78 of The Sopranos, in which Tony and Bobby Bacala get into a fight over uh, the rules of the Monopoly game, and Tony ends up uh, flattened on the floor with Monopoly pieces. Oh, I remember that one. I was like, oh no. Oh no, <laughs> he hit right. Tony. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of the few episodes in which somebody else really got the best of Tony. T, T, I'm sorry, T, I lost my temper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Well, interesting. So she actually take like as much information from that show as possible to construct this one? No, it was just the inspiration. And okay. then, then uh, she painted with that in mind. Uh, and, and I think not too much of a stretch to say that it speaks to our current economy as well. Um, topics of greed and uh, just disruption within the economic system. So all of these paintings well, are, are very active. There's a lot of turmoil and... Uh, and disarray going on. Okay, uh, then these, I guess, would be fairly, fairly recent. Very recent, actually. Yeah. The, the series um, was completed the day before the show went up on Wednesday. <laughs> that, <laughs> folks at home, that happens a lot more than you probably realize. And that's why we call it a vernissage. It was a varnishing day in that's French. Correct. When they'd all that's invite right. their friends to come over and yeah. sip port and, and ooh, ah, yeah. the, yeah, because it took like about eight, year or two years even for the linseed oil to dry in the glazing, right? That's so right. that's why it was such a big deal. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what does your your company, art company, do? What, uh, well, as I said, I've, I've had a gallery for several years in Port Hope, and I've recently closed that gallery. And uh, I'll be doing, uh, I do a lot of uh, private appointment art consultation in home and that sort of thing. But I'm also going to be doing a series of pop-up, um, very brief events. Um, in Toronto, I'll be showing young artists that don't have representation in the city. And in Northumberland County, where my other home is, I'll be showing more blue-chip artists. But again, rather than the static uh, address gallery model, I'm, I'm wanting for each show to be a celebration and to be a bit off the cuff and um, just more spontaneous and energetic. That seems to be um, a large trend over the last five or ten years. Uh, is a lot of galleries that are are virtual and they'll occupy space as needed. Yeah. For yes, the precisely. And for me, since I represent two, uh, you know, two different um, groups of artists, one being the the quite young and, and not well known artists, and the other being more a more blue chip crowd, it's nice for me to have to have two sorts of locations in which to do things. Okay, well, AK, thanks very much. Thank you, it's been a pleasure.